If you want to animate your logo in PowerPoint, then this video is for you. So first, start by choosing the right file format. Now, most people use JPEG to import their logo into PowerPoint. JPEG is an image file with a solid background. That's why many logos have that white background to them. And because it's an image, you cannot edit or animate it. Now, some other people use PNG files for their logo, which is a better option than a JPEG. That's because a PNG file has a transparent background, so it can work on different backgrounds. But as you can see here in the bottom right image, it's not working very well when the background is the same color as the logo. Now, a better option would be to use a scalable vector graphic, also known as SVG. Now, SVG files are sharp, they're scalable, and they're transparent, and you can also edit them in PowerPoint. As you can see here in the bottom right image, I was able to make the whole logo white, and that was done in PowerPoint. So if your logo looks pixelated like the image on the left, you're probably using a raster image like a JPEG, PNG, or a GIF file, which is not the best option. What you need, you need is a scalable vector graphic. And that's why it's always a good idea to ask your designer to give you the vector files. Now, some of the common vector files include Adobe be Illustrator. So the file extension could be AI. And that's usually a uh, software used to create the logos. Now for commercial press, if you're trying to take your logo for a print or a commercial print or for embroidery, they'll typically ask you for an EPS file. So it's important to have that file as well. But what we need in this particular case is the SVG. We need the scalable vector graphic. And that's because it's designed for use on digital and web applications. And best of all, it is editable in PowerPoint. So start by importing your logo into PowerPoint. Locate your SVG file on your computer and click and drag and bring it to your presentation. Now, if you try to ungroup this uh, logo, you're going to notice that that option is not available right now. So what you need to do first is you need to click on convert to shape, and that will convert your SVG file into a graphic format that PowerPoint is able to use. And now you have the elements to start animating your logo. All right, so let's start by clicking on the animation tab at the top. Now the animation tab will show you some different animation options for the entrance, emphasis, and exit. And you also have control on how the path appears on the slide. Now I'm not gonna go into a lot of details on that. I'll let you experiment with that. For now, I'm going to show you how I animated my logo. And in order to have some control on the logo, we need to see the side panel. So if you can't see the side panel with the controls, make sure to click on the animation pane here and you'll be able to see it. Now, to animate the logo, what I did is I clicked on the sequence that I want my elements to appear on the logo one by one. So you can see that will make it easier for you. And then I chose an animation of my choice. I usually like to have the fly in. And I also like to use the bounce effect. It gives it that a bit of a bounce. And rather from the bottom, I want them to come in from the right. Now, something else that I like to control is the speed of the duration. I find that 0 0.5 seconds is a bit slow for what I like. So I like to make that a little bit faster. So you can see here now it's a bit faster and we have some of the main elements. Now, I also want the, the, the M and the plus sign to come in from the left rather than from the right. So I'm gonna click on here and make them come in from the left. And I want now to control the speed of how they come in onto the screen. So for example, if I click here, you're going to notice that it says with previous. So we want the uh, M and the plus to sh this one with previous, and we want the A to come in with previous. And as for the rest, I want them to come in after. So I'm gonna say after previous. Now we're gonna control the animation. So let me show you how that would look like. Now you can see I have that animation ready to go. Now I wanna add a few more elements. I want the plus sign to pulsate as well after everything has animated. So I'm gonna make sure that it pulsates and that it appears after the animation. And then I want to add my website. So with the website, I think I would like to have it wipe. So I'm gonna use the wipe and I'm gonna make sure that it is wiping from the left and it is also using the after previous. So this is what my animation looks like now. And now if you want to add more motion to your slide, you can also use a video background. So here's how my logo looks like on a dark video background. Congratulations, now you know how to import and animate logos using PowerPoint.